Monterey City Council President Nuri Martinez apologizing after racist comments were made uh, regarding Mike Bonin's son, and they were leaked. We have live team coverage on this developing story. Irene Cruz is standing by with reaction. But we begin with Eyewitness News reporter Tim Pulliam live at L.A. City Hall with the calls for Martinez to resign. Tim. Good morning, guys. Yeah, this is such a big story. Council member Nuri Martinez is apologizing for those racist comments. According to Martinez, she says the conversation initially last year stemmed from talks about redistricting and its impact on people of color. The kids bouncing off the effing walls on the floor, practically taking it over. There's nothing you can do to control him. I was like, this kid is a beat down. Like, let me, let me take him around the corner and then I'll bring him back. These sound clips were published online by Knock LA. Now, Martinez is LA City Council president. She is also heard calling Councilman Mike Bonin's black son a little monkey in Spanish. She used other words that are considered disrespectful to some black people. Now, it's not clear who recorded her conversation or who leaked it. Martinez releasing this statement. In a moment of intense frustration and anger, I let the situation get the best of me, and I hold myself accountable for these comments. For that, I am sorry. Now, Councilman Bonin, whose three-year-old black son is at the center of the racist comments releasing this statement, we are appalled, angry, and absolutely disgusted that Nuri Martinez attacked our son with horrific racist slurs and talked about her desire to physically harm him. It's vile, abhorrent, and utterly disgraceful. The city council needs to remove her as council president immediately, and she needs to resign from office. Now, council member Kevin DeLeon contributed insensitive remarks during this conversation with Martinez. He is apologizing, saying that it's inappropriate and also it was not what was expected of him. Now, Councilman Cedillo was also in the room, and he says that he should have intervened. We're live in downtown L.A. Tim Pulliam, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Tim, thank you very much. We're also seeing protests outside Nuri Martinez's home and getting reaction from the mayor and mayoral candidates. Eyewitness News reporter Irene Cruz continues our team coverage. She's live in the newsroom with more on this aspect. Irene. Hi, guys. We've seen anger and plain frustration this morning. Fallout on that leaked audio has spilled into the race for L.A. mayor. All this happening as protesters have been furiously chanting outside Martinez's house in Sun Valley. You hear it there, a few dozen protesters shouting. The L.A. City Council president is not only facing criticism from the public, but also from city leaders. L.A. Mayor Eric Garcetti issued a statement saying in part, as mayor, as a father, and as an Angelino, I am saddened by what I read. He adds, everyone in our city deserves to feel safe and treated with equal respect. These words fall short of those values. The leaked audio has also become an issue in the L.A. mayoral race. Candidates now weighing in. Democratic Congresswoman Karen Bass issued a statement saying, quote, let me be clear about what was on those tapes. Appalling anti-black racism. Also saying, the challenges we face already threaten to tear us apart. And now, this hateful and shocking conversation among some of our city's most powerful leaders could divide us even further. Her opponent, developer Rick Caruso, has connected the scandal to Bass. He put out a tweet saying, This entire situation shows that City Hall is fundamentally broken and dysfunctional. Most of the people involved in this ugly episode have endorsed Karen Bass, adding, I hope she'll do the right thing and demand for their accountability and renounce the endorsement of those who used hate speech. Meantime, more reaction continues to pour in this morning. Some of the latest coming from the other council members, the L.A. Police Union, LAPD Chief Michael Moore and District Attorney George Gascon, all condemning Council Member Martinez's words, many calling for her resignation. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.